This is War News Radio. As the Arab Revolution continues to reverberate, artists and activists are working to give voice to those struggling with conflict and oppression. War News Radio's Lucia Luna Victoria spoke with a few who are trying to make a difference. I think in general, I just try to be a voice for the voiceless. Living American rapper Khaled M., currently on a college tour around the U.S., is one of the many communicating the voices of those who have none in times of oppression. Throughout the Arab revolutions, artists are finding ways to make an impact in conflict zones by recording history through their music. We work with musicians, we work with uh, youth groups, we work with uh, artists in foreign countries, activists in foreign countries who are engaged in um, using art and music to... um, promote social causes, progressive causes. Brett Kimberling is a director of Justice Through Music. He directs the organization's operations and works with musicians and groups promoting and exposing youth voice through music for a global audience by means of various media, including social networking and YouTube. Music activism's growing influence on youth is impacting world conflicts as it is a popular means of expression and draws from the experiences of the artists during the times of conflict. We started Justice Through Music 10 years ago when uh, young people in America were pretty pessimistic and apathetic and didn't think that they their voice counted and we wanted to help them uh, get motivated and and we've worked with um, from with many uh, famous artists to talk to them and with with uh, PSAs and ads and and music and um, and it's really made a difference Kimberly says that a massive number of young people got involved during the last presidential election in the United States We've given voice to artists all over the world who would not otherwise be allowed to speak out outside their small communities. Uh, I think it's made a, a real big impact and, and uh, given a lot of hope to that these uh, artists that their voices are being heard you know, across the world. The Activist Resource Group, a branch of the organization Resources for Life, helps provide activists with a support and services that will help them promote positive social change, based in Iowa City. The organization emphasizes and works to empower people to bring permanent healing and peace. Director and founder of Resources for Life, Greg Johnson, explains the importance of music activism. In, in the context of um, religion, you know, it, it, church, synagogue, mosque, uh, you'll often find music, even a football game, there will be music. Johnson states the importance of music since it allows a person to soften and clear their mind. So similarly with, with activism, uh, we find that, that music helps people to kind of get an image. Uh, it's almost like poetry, you know, set to, to music, um, but it helps people to get an image about a certain issue. Khaled M. supports the idea of helping youth connect their experiences globally. Uh, right now, it happens to be Libyans and Libyan Americans, because I'm familiar with that. Uh, but I definitely stand against oppression and injustice anywhere. I think anybody that's uh, going through uh, tyranny or oppression can relate to the music. He says that when he wrote his song, Can't Take Our Freedom, he purposely refrained from specifying names, such as Gaddafi and Libya. The only way people knew that that's what it was about was by watching the video. So if you just listen to the lyrics and you came from any other country that was facing similar trials and tribulations, you would be able to relate to it. Freedom of expression is denied in areas of conflict or countries where artists and musicians fear for their lives if they attempt to express their frustrations and the injustices around them. Brett Kimberling shares some of the stories covered by Justice Through Music. For example, last week we posted um, an article about a blog blog post about uh, a musician who was killed in Africa and um, and we've had people from all over the world uh, come to our site and visit and read all about that and and the musician's uh, actual brother-in-law contacted me to thank us for helping uh, promote the the issue and call for accountability for the people who killed that artist. Kimberly says the artists are often targeted by dictatorial regimes. For instance, earlier this year, a Syrian cartoonist was beaten by pro-regime thugs and his hands broken to prevent him from expressing discontent through his drawings. We posted about this and called for accountability for the perpetrators of that act. And again, uh, we got people from all over the world coming and reading that and thanking us for supporting that artist. And and it allows people to learn 
about things that happen to artists around the world uh, that they might not otherwise see in the mainstream press. As opposed to those who fight to get their message out of their country, artists like Khaled M use modern media to share their music with those in war zones as well as those oppressed within their own communities. Oftentimes, the people that are downtrodden, the people that are suppressed in society, you know, they don't have the options to share their voice through traditional means. Oftentimes, they can't write in newspapers or become journalists. Uh, so we use music to get around that. When you're making music, you can express yourself however you want to. The influence of activism through music is growing along with globalization. Not only are musicians able to communicate with their local communities, but they are now able to share their music through the internet, allowing for a global audience. Right now, we're getting a, a, a very large um, audience from the Mideast, from all the countries, you know, you know, Libya, Bahrain, uh, Iran, uh, Turkey, Syria, Tunisia, Egypt. And uh, those, those activists know that they can rely on us to get their, their music out and their voice heard in, in a, a very honest way. Kimberly believes, as does Justice to Music, that musicians are like canaries in a coal mine. So they are the first to speak out about injustices by their government. And so, or their government policies, and so uh, it's important to to listen to musicians. They're very sensitive. They're like a very sensitive antennae, and um, so it's it's very good to listen to them and to allow them to speak for the community at, at large. What makes a difference today is the accessibility of this form of expression to anyone in the world the moment it is made. Artists can upload their music to websites such as Justice Through Music or Resources for Life and it will be available to the world public within a week for most cases since they have to be moderated. Kimberly plans to continue working as a catalyst in helping the musician's message reach every corner of the world. Rapper Khalid M has already set up a U.S. college tour called Freedom Tour which started September 28th and will last until mid-December. Later, he hopes to visit his country Libya before starting an international tour. For Warnius Radio, this is Lucia Luna Victoria.